This one mistake could cause you to lose money on your option trades every day. Find out what it is and what you can do about it. Here's the option chain for stock symbol CCIV. And I'm looking at the expiration date of August 13th of 2021. I'm considering selling a covered call with a $25 strike price, which at the current time is paying $1.70 per share in premium. Next, let's take a look at my other choice that I'm considering for selling this covered call option contract. Here's the option chain for a stock symbol CCIV with an expiration date of August 20th of 2021. So I'm considering selling a covered call with a $25 strike price, which at the current time is paying $2.09 in premium. Now that I've shared the option chains with you, let's take a look at them side by side. So this first one on the left is the option chain where the expiration date is set to August 13th. Now the option chain on the right, that has the expiration date of one week later, or August 20th of 2021. Now for both options, they each have the $25 strike price. The August 13th covered call option with the $25 strike price pays $1.70 per share in premium. The covered call option on the right with the August 20th expiration date and the $25 strike price pays $2.09 per share in premium. So it's pretty obvious that if I use the August 20th expiration date and extend the length of the contract just 7 days, I stand to gain 39 cents more per share in premium. So obviously that's the better deal. Or is it the better deal? To understand better what I'm talking about, let's do a side-by-side -side covered call analysis comparison of the two different stock options. The first one on the left is with the expiration date of August 13th. And the option contract on the right has the expiration date of August 20th of 2021. So today, if I sell a covered call option contract with an expiration date of August 13th, that would make the length of this contract 28 days. Now, if I change that and use an expiration date of August 20th, that would make the length of the contract 35 days. So seven days longer. Now, both covered call option contracts would have the same strike price, $25. But as we saw from earlier, the difference is in the premiums being paid. So the option contract with the August 13th expiration date paid a premium of $1.70 per share. And then the covered call option contract with the expiration date of August 20th paid an option premium of $2.09 per share. So extending the length of this option contract just 7 days from August 13th to August 20th, I could receive an extra $0.39 cents per share in premium. And earning an extra $0.39 cents per share in premium? That sounds pretty appealing to me. Another variable to consider is what is my cost basis per share? So for my CCIV shares, my cost basis is $21.49 per share. So if I'm able to sell this covered call and actually have the option contract be executed, I would receive $25 per share. And as a result, the profit I would receive from the price appreciation would be $3.51. And that would be the same for either option contract. Next, let's take a look at the amount of premium that I would receive. So for the covered call option contract with the August 13th expiration date, because I was paid $1.70 per share in premium, I would receive a total premium payment of $170. Now for the covered call option contract with the August 20th expiration date, I received $2.09 per share, so then my premium amount that I would receive would be $209. So as you would expect, by selling a covered call option contract with the longer expiration date, I would receive an extra $39 as a premium. So now let's extend this what if scenario. And let us suppose that I am able to sell the covered call option contract, that the option contract gets exercised on or before the expiration date. What's my total profit going to be in both cases? So for the first case, where the expiration date is August 13th, I would receive a profit of $3.51 per share in price appreciation plus $170 as the premium. So my total profit would be $521. Now in the other option, with the expiration date of August 20th, I'd still receive a profit of $3.51 as part of the price appreciation. But in that case, I'd receive $209 as my premium. And so my total profit would be $560. So using a best case scenario for both covered call option contracts, and that would be where the option contract gets filled and then the options get exercised on the expiration date so that I'm able to gain profit from price appreciation as well as the premiums I've collected. 
The max profit I would receive then would come from the covered call with the longer expiration date. There'd be more money in my pocket and also a higher return on my investment from a percentage standpoint. But there's actually one more variable to consider that I have not discussed yet. When I sell a covered call option contract, I'm using the shares that I own as my collateral. So they're being reserved and I can't touch them for the duration of the option contract. So the premium that I received is compensation for having my shares tied up. And so sometimes option traders make this mistake and they don't consider how much they're receiving in order to reserve their shares as collateral. So there's a quick and simple calculation that I use to analyze the profitability of the premium being paid to me whenever I compare two or more different option contracts. So I look at the amount of premium that I get paid per day. And this calculation really is simple. You just take the amount of premium received and divide it by the length of the option contract. Let's head back over to my covered call analysis worksheet where I'll be able to show you more easily how this calculation works. If you like the information that I've shared with you so far in this video, do me a huge favor and smash the like button. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the amount of premium that I would receive for each of the covered call option contracts. As you recall, for the first covered call option contract with the expiration date of August 13th, I would receive $170 in premium. And then for the second covered call option contract with the expiration date of August 20th, I would receive $209 as my premium payment. Next, let's look at the length of the contracts for each of the covered call option contracts. So for the first covered call option contract with the expiration date of August 13th, the length of this contract would be 28 days. And for the second covered call option contract, the length would be 35 days. So using these values, the amount of premium received from each contract, as well as the duration of each of the contracts, we're now able to calculate the amount of premium that I receive per day for each of these covered call option contracts. To save us some time, I went ahead and added the formulas to my spreadsheet to make it easier for us to just show you the calculations. So for the first covered call option contract, the calculation works out that I received $6.07 per day in premium for the duration of the contract. And then for the second covered call option contract, I received $5.97 per day in premium for the duration of the 35 day covered call option contract. So for this specific example, I would receive more premium per day if I were to sell the option contract that has the shorter expiration date. And while the difference in premium pay per day is relatively small for this example, you may find other option comparisons where the difference in premium received per day can be rather significant. Now obviously there's more to analyze and consider when comparing two different covered call option contracts, but oftentimes I see some of my students forget about this one variable. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad free. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.